Okay, so welcome back. Um, this video is going to be about simple loops and wait operations. Um, so let's just clear out the previous script. Okay, so what are loops? Okay, so a loop, there are like, uh, let me just see, three types, I guess, three types of main loops. Um, the, there's a for loop, for loop, while loop, and repeat loop okay let me cover for loops first so a for loop is declared by doing this for i for example is equal to z uh, 10 is to let's just make it one is to 100 do okay so what is what this is doing let me just show you what it does okay it's going to print out all the numbers all the way from 1 to 100 Okay, as you can see, it just it did just that. Okay, why? Okay, so you're doing this for variable i. Okay, this is the same thing. You, you could just declare i is equal to one and just remove this. This is just the same thing. Okay, well actually wait. Uh, yeah, don't do this. Just write it the conventional way. Okay, for i is equal to one. Okay, so it's going to start at 1, comma, it's going to go all the way up to 100, okay, from 1 to 100. Now, obviously, they just that with the increment of 1, okay, it's, now this here is just what you're leaving out, but it's still doing it on its own, because it's not ne really necessary to do it at, uh, it's not really necessary to write it down. It's going to do the same thing if you print out one. Uh, if you print out five, it's going to do it like five at a time. You know, one plus five, six, six plus five, eleven, and so on, uh, till it reaches a hundred. Um, now, that's basically a for loop, okay? So you're doing something for a set amount of times. Now, the cool thing is you could use uh, variables with for loops. So maximum let's do maximum is equal to like 300 if you copy down this and it's going to do for i is equal to one start at one basically go all the way up to 300 okay bam it's going to write all the numbers down from one to 300 okay now pretty simple let's change it up a bit let's say we wanted to go from 300 to one instead of the other way around Okay, so the, uh, let's just clear out this. We obviously declared the for loop keyword for i. Now i is the standard variable name. So I suggest using that, but you could call this whatever you want, like counter or like call for code, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. Okay, but i is i. Okay, for i is equal to 300. Okay, start at 300. And go down to one. Okay, for this means rounded to one. Do print i. Okay, now this is not gonna allow you to run the loop. Okay, so if you try to do this, it's not gonna do anything. Because you need to go, this is what you're telling the script right now. Go from 300 to one. And as I said, there's a hidden variable here, or like hidden statement at one. So you're going 300. 301, 302, 303, it's never going to get to tr uh, to 1, okay? Because it's going up by 1 iteration every single time, okay? Now, what we want to do is uh, decrease 1 every single time. So this is going to go from 300, 209, uh, oh my god, <laughs> uh, 299, 298, 297, and so on, you know? It's going to do all that until it gets to 1, okay? don't believe me run the, the script and there you go uh, it's going all the way down to one okay pretty easy uh, if you wanted to go down by let's let's make it stop at zero and go down by 10 at a time it's gonna go 300 290 280 all the way down to zero okay this is useful for plenty of applications. Uh, it's just, I'm teaching you the concept and the basic 
use case okay this is going to be used in future uh, uh, tutorials so just make sure you understand this because loops are like one of the key elements of scripting okay you really need to know what loops are what they do etc okay so for loop done okay what if we want to do do the while loop now it is important that uh, I introduce the wait uh, function or if I don't know what it's called exactly I just wait okay you basically wait is written down as wait and X amount in seconds okay so let's tell it to wait 10 seconds actually that's too long let's tell it to wait one second then print out log okay the script is gonna start up it's gonna wait one second and it's gonna print log then if you want to wait uh, another three seconds then print uh, three seconds went by or something like that uh, there you go it's gonna print lol wait three seconds and it's gonna print out this okay now why was it essential for me to teach you how to use weights before using while loops okay basically a while loop runs until a condition is met Okay, so while, let's just say true, this, like in the last video, I said it's the, it's the same as this, if true is equal to true. Okay, so this is always going to run. Okay, while true, do, while true is equal to true, basically, same thing. This is just, you know, removing that extra bit to make it more readable. I mean just nicer I guess um, now what this will do is run infinitely okay because true is always gonna be equal to true no matter what you do true is true okay um, so what this will do is basically crash your studio okay uh, I'm not gonna do that because obviously I don't want to do this so you add wait now wait could be empty okay this is going to run for the least amount of seconds it can if you leave it empty, okay? If you leave it at zero, it's not going to wait anything and, and it's not going to do anything, okay? But if you wait and just leave it empty, it's going to wait like 0 0.03 or 0 0.06. No, 0 0.00, I don't know. It's something in the zero is something seconds, okay? Now, this is going to wait. Uh, let's, let's just say it's 0 0.03 seconds. I'm not really sure on the wait time. Uh, then it's going to print out uh, hello uh, every single time the condition is met. Okay, now it's going to run and it's just infinitely, as you can see, it's going to infinitely print out hello. Okay, now this isn't very useful on its own. Let's uh, uh, integrate a bit of variables within this. Okay, let's just uh, declare number is equal to zero. Okay. Every time this conditional uh, statement is met here, while true is equal to true, it's going to do the loop, it basically everything within this, okay? It's going to, let's just tell it to increase the number plus one. So you're going to increase the number itself plus one. So it's going to be zero plus one, then it's going to be one plus one, two plus one, three plus one, you know, uh, then we're going to want to print out the number. Okay, you're going to run it and it's going to keep on infinitely increasing the number count. Okay, so you could just look at this all day. It's not going to stop. Uh, don't believe me. Try it out, I guess. You're going to waste a huge amount of time, but this just keeps on going. Okay, so you're going to stop it and that's pretty much while loops. Okay. Um, we could, let's make this a bit more complex and integrate conditional statements. So basically the if condition and um, more variables, okay? So let's declare a variable. Uh, run loop is equal to true. So let's change this to run loop, okay? While run loop is equal to true, same thing. Remember this, when you don't write something and it's a boolean variable, it's just doing this expression, okay? I just leave it out because it's the way to do, to uh, go. Um, 
Just do this. Then, obviously, do not forget the weight. Weight keeps uh, Studio from crashing. Okay, that's why you add a weight in a while loop, in an infinite while loop. Okay, now uh, let's say we declare another variable called number and put it at zero again. Okay, so let's add a if. Okay, if number is greater than 150, then if the number is greater than 150, then it will execute the code within the block. Okay, um, run loop is equal to false. Now, what will happen? Okay, currently the number is never being changed, so the conditional statement here will never be met. Okay. Um, but if we add a counter at the end, number equals number plus one, every time this runs, it'll do the same thing as we did here. Number will be one plus one, I mean zero plus one, one plus one, two plus one, three plus one, and so on. Okay, so that will keep on going until uh, number is greater than 150. Okay, whenever the number is 151, because uh, that's the first integer that's basically going to be bigger than 150 run loop will be set to false okay now it'll do this block here okay bam gonna reach number equals number plus one number will be set to 151 i mean 152 okay then it's gonna go all the way up here again and it's gonna check if run loop is equal to true but it won't be because you set it to false. Therefore, uh, it stops this. It exits out of the loop. Okay. And to prove this, loop exited. Okay. So how this works is starts from here. Okay. Goes down. Goes up again. Checks if this is true. And if it is true, it's gonna keep on going and going, and going until this is not true. When this is not true. Uh, this loop just uh it's the loop is uh broken i guess you could call it it won't work anymore and it will keep on going through the rest of the script okay so click run it's gonna oh my god i forgot to print out the number let's print out number so we will know what's going on so it's going up 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 until it reaches 150 exactly when it reaches 150 and it reaches 151 uh, the loop condition breaks okay and the loop exits okay so that's pretty much uh, uh, while loops I guess something extra which you could learn is the break keyword okay which is basically what we just did now but you didn't write it down okay so let's say we don't want to have run loop okay let's just set it back to true okay this will keep on going forever because you sure I guess whenever the number is going above 150 um, you're checking and if it is true then it's gonna do nothing okay so we you could do is break just type the break keyword and this basically will exit out of the loop okay let's set this to a hundred so it's quicker okay whenever it is at 101 it's gonna break out of the loop okay if you run it breaking is basically like stopping the loop okay and there you go it stopped at 100 if we increase this amount it's gonna keep on going up and up and up and up but we don't want to do that because it will take ages okay so this is basically how you use uh, while loops um, you could use the break keyword in any of the loops and the in all of these three loops here so don't worry about that uh, whenever you just want to exit out of a loop type out the break keyword okay super important okay now let's close this I mean let's uh, delete this and go on to the repeat loop now repeat loops and while loops are like very similar okay so this is how repeat loops are done repeat and this is the the code in here 
uh, it's what's going to repeat until a certain condition is met. Okay, so until number is greater than 850. Let's declare number again. Okay, it's going to keep on checking. I mean, the main difference between this and the while loop is that this runs at least once before it checks. Okay, if we did, um, let's just run loop equals false. Okay, uh, until uh, not run loop. Okay, until run loop is equal to false. Okay, it's gonna run this once and then it's gonna check if the condition is met. Okay, so it's gonna print out run once. But let's get back to this. If number is greater than 150, uh, it's gonna break out in the loop. So let's just do number equals number plus one, print number. Okay, so we'll know what's going on. And there you go. Okay, we forgot to wait. Okay, that's also problematic. Uh, if this was an infinite loop as well, um, Studio would have crashed. So if you made this to a, like a really huge number, that's pretty much where you're done. Like Studio will crash, no questions asked. So let's just do a wait. Okay, don't do what I just did. Never forget your weights. Okay. There you go, now it's just going to start increasing gradually until it reaches 150 and at which point it will break, just like the while loop. Okay, so those are pretty similar, I guess. The only difference, as I said, is that the repeat loop um, runs at least once before checking if the condition is met, while the while loop um, runs, uh, well, actually it checks the condition and then runs if the condition is met okay so that's pretty much the primary difference so that's pretty much it for this episode i guess um i'll see you guys in the next episode and thank you for watching